Hey guys, it's the B2, and welcome to the next installment of Applied Energistics. Today we're going to strictly talk about the matter cannon and the entropy manipulator. Entropy manipulator. Easy for you to say. Uh, the first thing you'll notice differently is a matter condenser above here. And this is a pretty easy device to figure out. Uh, you will need a storage component in here. Um, and let's just go ahead and get a few stacks of the sand here, and I'll show you what happens. Uh, the first item in the matter condenser is the destroy items. And you'll notice as we put in here nothing happens and the items are gone. So it's just a basic trash can, trash can which I would recommend you guys put near the front of your Emmy because you're going to need it anyway. As you move to the next thing it's condensing to matter balls and you can see we got 58 of 256. So if I was to go in here to put these in here you'll see it start to fill up and a matter ball comes out. Let's get another stack and now you'll see there's two matter balls in there and you can pull these out of here and the drive is 105 of 256 into making the next matter ball the last one is condensing into a singularity now this is important for doing quantum stuff in your applied energistics and that's something that we're going to get into in a later tutorial just know that you're going to need 256,000 items of something in order to make the singularity so uh, you'll be putting stuff into there for a very 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 long time so you say, B2, that's great. You now have these matter balls in here. What in the world can you do with them? Let's go ahead and grab this sword. I think I might need that later on. So we're going to come over here to the matter cannon and take a look at this. And you'll notice the first thing is I've been fooling around with it. So it says one of one types, 14 out of 512 bytes. So you can put in 512 pieces of ammunition. So right here in the ME chest is where you're actually going to fill it up. I know, it doesn't make sense, but this gun functions as an ME drive here, right? So you can put that in there, access it through the top, and you'll notice that I have 11 matter balls in here. I can add another 15, or another 4 in for 15, access the front, we can uh, we can then pull the, uh, we can pull it right out of the front here. Sorry, my mouse decided to give out on me, no worries. Uh, and we're going to go down here to this little gun range that I got set up, and uh, let's, uh, Let's refill these. I just want to show you guys how far they shoot into here. So again, remember, this is a matter cannon filled with just matter balls, and we're going to shoot the sand first. And you can see that a matter ball takes out three pieces of sand. So if I was going to do the same on the stone, only one piece of stone. Okay, well that's kind of cool. What if we upgraded it? Let's take a look. So we go back over here to the ME chest. We're going to put the matter cannon. Well, well we actually uh, got rid of it, so we'll just grab us another one here. Fully charged, of course, because that's how we roll. And we're going to put it back as a drive, access the top, and let's try it with let's try it with an iron nugget this time. What do you guys think? All right, let's give it a whirl. So we're going to come back down here to the gun range. And how far do you think it'll shoot in sand? Okay, so one, two, three, four. So it went from iron, um, went from a matter ball to an iron, and we're able to increase it by one. Let's see in stone. Stone went two. Not bad. Let's go ahead and put these back, and we'll move up to the gold nugget, and we'll kind of show you guys. A little bit more here, because it's kind of neat, this matter cannon. Uh, you can do some really fun things with it here. To access the top, we're going to pull the iron nuggets out. We're going to put gold nuggets in. Let's shoot that gold. For you world of tankers out there, you're like, yeah, premium, shoot the premium. Uh, so let's actually get it into the gun this time. Oh, it's not going to go in. Okay, no problem. We'll do lead, and lead's not going to go in. Is there something still in this? There is not. This should work, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this guy, and we're going to go with a new matter cannon. Something seems bugged in that one because I know it should work. So we're just going to go ahead and plug this guy in here, the brand Nubian, and see does it go in now, and it does. So, see, it was right. It was a bugged cannon. No problem. Let's go ahead and destroy this buggy cannon. We'll put him in there. So now that the gold is loaded, we're going to come down here. See, even there's problems in production sometimes. And we're going to shoot the sand. How far does it go? Whew, the gold shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're getting some more range out there. Again, let's shoot gold one more time. On the bricks, we went one, two, three, four. 
on the bricks. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. So I said, oh, B2, what's the ultimate um, slug you can put on there? And I don't know, I think it's going to be lead. Um, just makes more sense to me that bullets are made out of lead, not iron and, and silver. So uh, see if we can just change out those contents again. I'm not sure if it's going to do this or be bugged again. And it's bugged again, so no problem. We'll just grab us on another one. You won't experience this. This seems to be like a single player mode issue, so no worries. We'll take you out of here and we'll replace you with them. And let's try the lead now. If I, s I don't know if this is going to work or not. I didn't try this one when I was uh, practicing, so we'll see how it goes. So gold shot six, lead shot. Okay, so lead only goes to three. No problem. We're going to go back, and uh, I think I have the gold one still in my possession. I do, so let's get rid of this one. And we're going to go load Goldilocks back up here. Let's see if it's bugged to put gold back in. And it's not. Okay. Let's set the time to daytime. Time set zero. Uh, and here we go. So now the next thing that you can actually do is put your matter cannon, let's pull it out of here, into a workbench. And this is pretty cool. See how these come open on the side now? What do you think would happen if we loaded up four acceleration cards? Now, I, there's other cards that you can put in here, too. If you look, if we just type the word in matter in, um, it's going to give us all the cards we can put in. A fuzzy card, an inverter card, and an acceleration card. Fuzzy card, I'm not, not sure why you would put in there, but, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody could find a use for it. The inverter card would do all but the thing that you want to put in, uh, and so you don't really need that. But the acceleration card should produce some great results. Now we have a, man, a matter cannon loaded with gold. With, an ex with four acceleration cards. So what do you think will happen with this? I'll tell you. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, and shoot, and we'll see. Not bad. The gold shot all the way down. Let's see what happens when you shoot with... Oh. And you can see how it shot all the way through, basically. You guys see how that works? And I've got the magnet mode on. Um, it's going to shoot basically five bullets it's going to shoot the one the one with that uh, you get on the click we almost made it all the way through the stone on there let's try that again just so you know that I'm not doing anything weird with the video we'll shoot this guy if you just shoot one bullet it'll shoot one if you just left click once but see how it's shooting through there and down to the dirt so pretty interesting let's do one more shot ready that's a single shot and then we're going to hold the right button down for to get the max effect. And here's it with the hold button. All the way through. You can see how very powerful this is going to be. And it shoots a, quite a... Oh, the ammo's depleted. We ran the ammo out that quick. Anyway, guys, you get the idea for the, uh, for the matter cannon. Pretty cool little device. And you hang it up in a charger to get done. The last thing I wanted to show you is the entropy manipulator. And this is just kind of a cool little gadget, really. Um, it takes things in the world and it just kind of changes them. So it changes grass to dry dirt. It'll start a fire, obviously. Um, but the cool thing is with glass, check this out. Or with sand, it changes it to glass. Yeah, I know, right? I know, but stone, nothing. So you can kind of look at what you want to do with uh, the entropy manipulator. If you need something, you know you can make it quick. If you need glass, why cook it? We actually took a full desert one time and turned it to glass with uh, entropy, entropy manipulators. Kind of boring, right? But these things, you just light them on fire, uh, stalks and stuff on the grass, so kind of boring. But anyway, this has been the B2 with Applied Energistics, uh, the Matter Cannon, and the Entropy Manipulator. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'd be glad to respond. Have a great day.